Hello friends, this brief video only focuses on one section of Diego Rivera's epic masterpiece, the history of Mexico. The section Mexico, today and tomorrow, was the last section painted. It was painted in 1934 and you can see it on the far left. I have two other videos. One video fully explains the first section, ancient Mexico and another video explains the entire 554 meter mural. It explains everything. Please check it out. But right now, let's break down the last section, Mexico, today and tomorrow. Painted in 1934, which takes up 132.8 meters. Near the center, Rivera paints a police force protecting the entrance of the rich and elite, attacking the people they are sworn to protect who are engaging in peaceful protests. Here you see the golden shirt aggressors, purportedly anti-communist and a symbol of the reactionary right wing, a member of the Catholic organization, the Knights of Columbus, wearing the cross of Maquis. Rivera was a well-known communist and to the far right, conservative police murder poor people who want change. At the bottom, Mexican peasants are reaping wheat. They are exploited by landowners and you also see the exploited industrial workers who Rivera uses to show the oppression of the people by the corrupt Mexican elite. Here is his wife, Frida Kahlo, and her sister, Cristina Kahlo. They're portrayed as socialist educators. To Frida's left, you see a money-making machine under the altar of the Virgen de Guadalupe, an exploitive friar, a peasant, and the idiotic bourgeoisie. These all contributed to the immense power and riches of the church. On either side of the Virgen de Guadalupe image hang several flags, including the United States flag and the flag of Christ the King. To the left is an image of corrupt clergy having sexual sins with a female congregate. Just above are images of United States bourgeoisie. From left to right, John D. Rockefeller Jr., Harry Sinclair, William Durant, John Pierpont Morgan, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and Andrew Mellon. And here, army officers fat capitalists and ecclesiastics, which are represented by politicians including Calles, Morones, Ortiz Rubio, Abidaro Rodriguez, and corrupt members of the clergy. They have grown rich by exploiting the masses. Here are exploited workers and laborers. Now just above is Fernando Ocaranzo Carmano, the former rector of the National University teaching students the doctrines of Mexican socialism. Far left, the images represent the two facets of public education. The people, represented by students at the Workers' University with Marxist Das Capital under their arms, and the education of the ruling classes. Near the top, but positioned near the center, a strong Mexican worker haranguing the masses under the Soviet flag. You also see soldiers with gas masks and the city of Mexico in flames during the proletariat revolution. On top is Karl Marx with a caption from his communist manifesto showing the revolutionary trinity, soldier, laborer, and peasant. The new progressive society that will result from Mexico's socialist revolution founded on industry, agriculture, and science. To his left, Marx points to the proletariat struggle and the utopia of a socialist and just future. And there we have it. It's one of the greatest historical murals ever. Thanks so much for watching. Viva Mexico!